Um, guys, congratulations. BAFTAs are now in your possession uh, for Best Miniseries for Three Girls. How important was it for you guys to get this story out there? Because we, we knew the facts from what we read in the news, but to be fictionalised, how important was it for you to share this story with people? It was incredibly, incredibly important, wasn't it? It was our sole job, really, to bear witness to what had happened and to bring this story to a wider public. I mean, when, when we um, uh, found out about it at first, as everybody did on the news, what we didn't understand was about grooming and how grooming actually works. And I think that the audience didn't understand it either. So when we were, when Nicole was writing the script, it was really important that we looked very carefully at that so that we could help um, parents and children and you know young women who could be in this position to see the danger and then to be able to cope with the danger. And then there's something that Nicole was talking about just yesterday, um, which you should talk about now, about the difference with drama, the difference that a drama makes when you put those real characters on screen as opposed to a documentary. I suppose what I was saying was, you read about this in the newspaper and it's girl A and it's girl B and it's girl C and you don't get any sense of somebody else's well, humanity. Yeah, yeah. You, that's just absent. Um, and then you have a real encounter with real people and you can't believe you ever said, oh, that's terrible and turned the page. And you can't make good drama without making the audience feel what it's like to be that person. We're not looking at that person. We're not judging that person. We're just this is what it's like to be somebody else. And as soon as I met the girls and their families, I just felt like, yeah, I've got to write this. And I was scared. And initially, Sue asked me a few times if I wanted to do it, and, and I didn't, because I just knew there were so many ways of getting it wrong. But as soon as I met the girls and their families, the gap between experiencing them as human beings and everything that I'd read or anything that I'd seen or heard, I just thought, right, write to that. And don't start writing at all until you really, really understand this from the inside out and can write those characters from the inside out. Well, you definitely did that. I mean, it's an absolutely vital story to tell. I mean, how was the casting process for you? Because, again, you have to tell the story quite sensitively, but you've got to be very honest with it as well. So how did you go about finding the girls? And even, actually, the character of Daddy, because his portrayals, you know, I couldn't, couldn't get his face out of, out, of, out of my mind after watching it. How did you go about finding your actors? We, we uh, auditioned a lot of girls, and, and we travelled around the country quite a lot. Uh, we spent a lot of time in Manchester, I seem to remember. Uh, and I can't remember now, but we probably auditioned over a hundred girls. Uh, and uh, it, it's very interesting when you're working with young actors, uh, the ones who, who have the talent really stand out. It's quite remarkable. And there were a handful, you know, who we met, not just the, the three girls of the title, but also then the girls, the, their friends around them. We, you know, we probably found in total seven or eight young actresses who were just really great. But you have to, you meet a lot of people along the way to do it. Well, it was fantastically cast. And this is so very well deserved. I'm just really happy that the story is out there. It was just really interesting what you said about Daddy. Mm. Because, um, you know, Philip, we should talk about that because they, those actors are yeah, amazing. I was going to say oh, that yeah. it, not only <clears throat> did we take incredible care on casting the girls to play our girls, um, they needed not only to be wonderfully talented, um, but they also had to have a robustness about them to deal with that material because it was very, very upsetting. So they needed a maturity and a commitment to tell our story, which was beyond what normally you would require in a drama. And the other thing that I would really love to say is how brave the British Pakistani actors were for taking on the role of the perpetrators. They are amazing people and they brought a lot to our process they were involved in our rehearsals they're here tonight we're yeah. very very proud yeah, to have tonight. them here tonight mm -hmm. and they found it very upsetting to play those people Simon Nagra who played daddy was was who is such a gorgeous sensitive person you know it was it was a big thing for them to do to take on those roles we were and very we're very nervous. grateful to them for having done that, aren't we? And yeah, and we were nervous for them and with them mm. for their bravery, and and they and they all said the same thing to us, which was that it was important, and they wanted the story to be told. So they've been really remarkable. And that's evident in in these in these BAFTAs that we see here, guys. Thank you so much for talking to us, and sincerely congratulations. That really was one of the best things that 
I've watched thank over the past Thank you so much. So that that honestly, means ever such yeah, a lot. Really seriously, thank seriously, you. but um, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, go and celebrate. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.